discussion on cryoablation and cryoballoon ablation. Cryoablation is a method used to treat heart rhythm disorders by freezing the abnormal region using a cryoprobe. While radiofrequency ablation removes an abnormal focus or pathway by heating up the tissue, cryoablation does the same by cooling the tissue to sub-zero temperature. Cryoprobe is much more expensive than the radiofrequency ablation system and is not as widely available. The advantage of cryoprobe is the reversibility while treating foci near to critical cardiac structure. Initial cooling to some extent blocks the conduction and helps to assess whether the treatment will be effective and whether any adjacent critical structure will be damaged. If any collateral damage is detected, all you have to do is to rewarm to undo the damage done. If no collateral damage is detected, further cooling produces a permanent treatment effect. Though the chance for collateral damage is less, the efficacy also may be a little lower than radiofrequency catheter ablation because of slightly higher chance of recurrence. In a survey sent to members of the European Heart Rhythm Association Research Network and published in 2017, 49 centers from 18 countries had responded. Annual cryoablation volume was between 300 to 500 procedures in 3 centers, 200 to 299 in 4 centers, 100 to 199 in 8 centers, 50 to 99 in 21 centers, and less than 50 in 21 centers. That means the large majority performed less than 100 cryoablations per year though the figures might be different now. Cryoenergy for supraventricular tachycardia was routinely used by only 6.1% of centers. Cryoablation was rarely used for ventricular tachycardia. Only 8% of centers used it in selected cases. At the same time, it was used for treatment of atrial fibrillation in 89.8% .8 of the centers. In addition to focal cryoablation, Cryoballoon ablation is also taking off, especially in pulmonary vein isolation for atrial fibrillation. Fire and Ice trial was a multi-center randomized open-label trial which compared cryoballoon ablation with radiofrequency ablation for paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. In cryoballoon ablation, cryogenic energy is applied with a balloon in a single step mode which leads to tissue necrosis by freezing. The cryoballoon was developed to create a circular lesion around each pulmonary vein. Fire and ice trial documented the non-inferiority of cryoballoon ablation compared to radiofrequency ablation regarding efficacy in drug refractory paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. Overall safety was similar between the two methods. Cryo for persistent AF trial was a prospective multi-center single-arm trial to assess single procedure outcomes of pulmonary vein cryoablation in early persistent atrial fibrillation. Single procedure success at 12 months was 61% and there was significant reduction in arrhythmia related symptoms. Quality of life was also improved after cryoballoon ablation. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.